Hello, welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. Hope you're having a terrific day wherever you're at. In this episode, we are going to talk about what's in the envelope. So if you watched my last episode, I hinted uh, that this episode was coming. Uh, I received this envelope. And uh, today, you and I are going to discover what's in this. I already know, and it's it's pretty great. You're going to want to you're going to want to stick around uh, for this. So the first thing uh, was in this envelope was a really nice letter. Uh, this comes from Dan, uh, who lives in California, and uh, he just said that he saw uh, my recent video about the micro countries I collect, and I do. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that uh, I'm a worldwide stamp collector. Uh, I collect stamps from all over the world. But if I have to have a focus or an emphasis, it is on the micro countries of Europe, uh, San Marino, Liechtenstein, and Andorra, Monaco, and Vatican City. So Dan writes that a few years ago, he was gifted a stamp collection by his friend and uh, that he has given away much of the collection. How... How very generous of you. Um, and so he said that he's sending me uh, some Vatican stamps. Uh, he says he doesn't collect Vatican stamps unless they have uh, pictures of sailing ships. So that's a great topic. Uh, he says, I hope you find a few here to add to your collection. Uh, so Dan, thank you so very, very much uh, for sending me these stamps. I really appreciate it. Uh, most of you know uh, Vatican City, uh, it has an area of just 121 acres. Uh, it has a population of under 800. So it is the smallest uh, country in the world, both by population and by area, uh, which qualifies it not just as a micro country, but in my opinion, a super, super micro country, uh, which makes it really fun for me to collect. And I know a lot of other people uh, collect these stamps as well. So what I've done is uh, Dan uh, packed these stamps up beautifully in a couple of glassine envelopes. I've taken them out of the glassine envelopes. I put them in some stock pages. And uh, we're going to go to the work table right now. And uh, I'm going to show you these stamps. All right, here we are at the work table. And I'm going to give you a, a view of these stamps. I've taken them out of the glassine envelopes uh, that they were mailed in. And I've put them in the clear stock sheets. And as you can see, there are some really beautiful stamps. This is a really nice set of stamps here. And then let me get the second page. This is a really beautiful set of stamps right there so i thought what i would do is i would pick out a set of stamps uh from these stamps that were sent to me and i talk about them and uh, believe it or not the stamps that caught my eye were these three stamps right here so um we're going to get back in the office and we're going to talk about these uh, three particular stamps here in just a second. See you in a minute. Well, here we are back in the office and we're going to take a closer look at one of these sets of stamps that Dan sent me. This is a set of stamps I'd like to talk to you about. I picked them for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, uh, they are just, I think, a very uh, beautiful set of stamps to look at. Number two, there's there's really good history uh, behind this set of stamps. And number three, they're a little unusual uh, from most of the other stamps that you see issued uh, from Vatican City. And we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, this set of stamps is Scott number 362, 363, and 364. They were issued by Vatican City on June 15th, 1963. Now, I mentioned that there was history behind them and that they were a little different than some of the other stamps that Vatican City normally issues. So here's why. 
When you look at these stamps, the first thing you notice is at the top of the stamp, you see the phrase sede vacante. Now that's a Latin phrase that uh, means empty chair or vacant seat or empty throne. I've, I've heard it translated all three ways. Uh, in essence, what that means is that when a pope dies, um, the Holy See goes into a period of, of sede vacante. That means there is no pope uh, until the College of Cardinals meet in conclave, and then they they elect a, a new pope. So during this time of, of Sede Vacante, uh, lots of things happen. But one of the interesting things from a philatelic standpoint is that the postal administration of Vatican City issues special stamps. Uh, and these stamps are called Sede Vacante stamps. And these three stamps that uh, we're looking at right now were issued um, for the period of Sede Vacante. Uh, also, you'll notice that the coat of arms on these stamps have changed. So this is the normal coat of arms uh, for the Holy See. Uh, it is the, the papal tiara uh, with, with the keys, and it is replaced by this uh, umbraculum. Uh, and it symbolizes both the lack of the Pope uh, and also the governance of uh, the Camerlingo until a new Pope is elected. Uh, so like I said, these stamps were issued during the period of Sede Vacante. Uh, they were issued following the death of Pope John uh, the 23rd, who passed away on June 3rd, 1963. So, like I said, there's a lot of history with these stamps. Uh, they're a bit different than other stamps that Vatican City uh, issues on a regular basis. Uh, they're bright colors. They're vivid. Uh, and I just think they're a really attractive set of stamps. So, that's why I picked those out of these stamps. Uh, I want to once again uh, thank Dan so very much. Uh, Dan, thank you for sending me these stamps. They're going to be a great addition to my collection. I really, really appreciate your generosity. Thank all of you all for watching. Uh, this is the time, once again, where I ask that if you have not subscribed to the channel, you do it right now. Yeah, right now, hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment and give me a big old thumbs up. Well, until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.